Hey guys, Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Hello, how we doing? It's been a little minute. Exciting week, a lot going on. Mmm. Do you smell it? Do you smell? Do you smell the smell of a fresh set coming on? Very, very close to Evolving Skies dropping. Getting really excited for that. Pre-release was awesome. Awesome events we had. Awesome uh, just to have people back in the store playing games. That's really it's cool. Everybody had a great time. A lot of people that, uh, you know, we haven't seen in a while. Coming in and uh, hanging out. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, got a little uh, update on the status of stuff coming down the pipe, so looking like uh, booster boxes are going to be okay, but nobody cares about the booster boxes. Everybody cares about the Elite Trainer boxes for the set. That is what is really the premium product. A lot of people are really excited about those. And it's looking like they're going to be delayed just a little bit, a little bit. Um, I have heard from a couple distributors now that this is going to be delayed at least until Friday. So that means that they will receive them Friday. So we won't get them possibly even shipped out till Monday, which, as you guys know, Monday is supposed to be the day that pre-release stores uh, and LGS can sell that stuff. So that's kind of a disappointing thing. But uh, obviously, people that pre-ordered from us, uh, as soon as we get them in, we're going to send them out to you. And uh, hopefully, it'll still be sooner than the regular release date, where people are finding them in, out in Walmarts and stuff. That's the goal. That's the, the, the main deal. So that's really the, 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 main, the main big topic that I had for you guys. Obviously, um, you know, as we get back to uh, the swing of things, you know, a lot of things coming and going. A lot of people uh, still out there buying a lot of Pokemon product. I'm still selling a ton of it. Look at <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> my shelves are empty uh, again. That's why I'm excited for the new set. But, you know, a lot of stuff, uh, still not seeing a lot of uh, action in stores just because uh, product is still rough to get. Uh, I got a couple of, uh, let's see, I got the Calrex boxes still. Those are still hanging out. Lots of those uh, in reserve. I got these guys over here with the tool kit, tool kits. A lot of those uh, still hanging out. Plenty of those to uh, go around, but as far as like booster packs, booster boxes, all that stuff, still a ways away till we get a restock on that kind of stuff. Uh, it looks like, um, remember, Battle Styles is supposed to get a Wave 3. Uh, no word of that at all, and frankly, that's okay. We're good on Battle Styles. But uh, on Chilling Rain, uh, Wave 2 we're supposed to be, I've gotten before, Chilling, our Evolving Skies came out, and nowhere on that at all and it's been a while since i've had any sort of sealed product for that in at all in a long long time so that's kind of stressful uh because obviously that set still doing very very well uh as you can see uh the booster box is still holding very strong because there's just not a lot of that product out there a lot of people still having fun going through ripping packs and really just uh, enjoying that kind of product so uh, good good to see still a lot of people still buying it and interacting in and wanting to play with uh, the cards and collect cards and, and open packs but um, again a rough way to be when I don't have any booster boxes or just uh, single packs uh, oddly enough of all the things that I had I had uh, building battle kits come in I had a bunch of those come in so I got those they're not the, the you know the greatest products uh, and then you have the you know a little additional uh, money on top of that that you had to do for the promos and things like that. So those are just uh, hovering higher than what the you know this the four pack worth is. So that's kind of a bummer just because mm, it's not the same thing as getting packs you know for three fifty uh, three ninety nine that uh, you can just walk up and, and buy. So um, not a lot of that going around. And heck, I don't even have a lot of uh, sleeve boosters for battle styles. This is like all I got down here. Not very many. I got like four sitting down there. Uh, then I'm down to opening and busting booster boxes, which, again, have a, a pretty good amount of those still. Not a, not a ton of ton. Uh, not as many as I, I thought I would be still holding, but still a lot of that to go around. So, yeah, it's just kind of a kind of an interesting look at, you know, we're still getting, still getting little hiccups here and there of uh, product delays and, and stuff like that. So it's kind of an interesting thing to be experiencing when, you know, here we are, what... Uh, six months after the, the big uh, statement in March from Pokemon about stuff uh, being ramped up and production being ramped up. Obviously, we got them focusing on celebrations and all that stuff that they are putting pretty much all, all hands on deck to get out. And looking like um, a lot of that product is coming and uh, in good numbers. So that's good to see. 
But again, looking like uh, just on some of the more popular stuff, obviously the Marnie, the Marnie uh, tournament collection boxes, those are still very expensive and they're also uh, still very in low supply. So that's uh, interesting to see. Uh, I would have thought that the, not the second wave, but there was uh, a couple different dispersal method methods that they were sent out. A lot of distributors just didn't get their product on time. Again, these little like week, a couple day delay things that are, are interesting to see as it looks like just shipping in general is, is just really just backed up just a few days. I would have thought we would have had more of those hit the market and you know bring those prices down. It did not. And then we have, uh, again, the ETBs that are just uh, delayed just ever so slightly. And it's, it's from Pokemon, it's not from a distribution. So, interesting. It's an interesting thing. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, these look up, hiccups still still in the system and we're still having to work those out. Uh, even, even, you know, months and months and months after uh, Pokemon said that they were going to address the issue. Um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, kind of an interesting thing. I wanted to get, put that out about the ETBs, people that are stressing about, stressing about those. Um, if you don't see those shipping, it's okay. And they're going to just take a couple more days to ship out. Um, I have no idea on the Pokemon Center ETBs whether or not those will be delayed. Don't know. Those, uh, you know, don't have to go as far. So maybe not. So maybe not. No idea. But yeah, guys, I uh, just want to put that out there. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Clicking like, subscribing. And supporting the store. That's it. That's all I got, guys. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Hopefully, you can find some more Evolving Sky stuff a little early. Maybe not. Uh, and then, if not, next week. Next week is the big week. And I'll uh, talk to you guys more about Evolving Skies then. All right. That's all I got. Okay, bye.